In the dark depths of Silicon Shire, in the shadow of Server Mountains, a legend was forged. A formula birthed from the heart of the motherboard, powerful and mysterious as the ancient runes of yore. In the fiery chasms of Dataland, the great engineers of old crafted a single algorithm, a formula, an AI prompt to rule all others, to guide them to harness their power and bring them into the light of prosperity. One AI prompt formula to rule them all. One formula to find them. One formula to bring them all in and make them money. Today, noble viewers, we shall embark on an epic quest. So arm thyself with logic and code, for the path is treacherous and the challenge is many. But fear not, for together, with wisdom and perseverance, we shall find the treasure that awaits. Let the journey for the perfect AI prompt formula commence. My precious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today, what we are going to do is talk about prompt engineering and a prompt that is going to help you make money. Yes, this is something that is unlike anything you've ever seen before. What we're going to do is talk about things that actually get money and how to get AI to help you with it. Now, this is super important because what we are going to do today is we are going to talk about our P -E. This is super important, and apparently we need a different color on the light here. So let's see if we can get a different color here. That is making this look funny. There we go. That should fix it. All right, that is better. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about RPE, which is reverse prompt engineering. Okay, reverse prompt engineering is where we are going to go through and we are going to find things that are working, find things that are making money, and reverse engineer them. This is super important because AI has been around almost a year now. I remember my first video on AI um, was back in December of last year, and it took off like crazy, and people were wondering, what is this AI stuff all about? And up until now, we've seen a lot of people talk about creating different articles and writing things things and scripts and stuff like that, which is good. AI is definitely helpful for that. But what we want to talk about today is how do you start with a blank page and actually get it to create something that is going to help you. This is super important because what we're going to do is we're going to look at prompt engineering and how it works. Now, when we go through, we have to look at the elements of a prompt, we have to look at different hacks that we can use, and what AI is good at. Now, there's certain things that people use AI for that it's not necessarily that great at, but there's a few things that people use AI for, and I think they're using it not as good as it could be used for, and it, it is something that it is really good at that can help you. And what we're talking about here is analysis. We're talking about putting two things together side by side and getting an output that we can use to further our quest for making money, right? So when we look at this over here, let's go over to the, the board again. Uh, when we look at this over here, what we're going to do is we're going to look at giving AI examples, having AI compare things, Correlations. Now, this is big. A lot of people don't talk about correlations, but this is one of the things that has made me a lot of money in my business. We're going to use AI to learn, and we're going to use AI to brainstorm. Now, there was a commenter that was going crazy a couple days ago talking about how I didn't know what I was talking about, and you can't really train AI unless you're the creator of AI. Well, I want to clear this up because maybe some other people are feeling like that and they don't understand what I mean. And what I mean is we're not training AI from the ground up. I'm not teaching AI to wake up as the guy did with Frankenstein, right? We're not doing that. What we're doing is we're taking a Frankenstein that already exists and saying, hey, you know what, buddy? Here's what we want you to do. And what we're going to do is we are going to use the training within. 
Okay, very important. It's much like if you were to go to like a therapist or you were gonna go teach something to someone one time. In that session, there are things that you are going to share and things that the other person is going to learn that are gonna fit within that situation. Now, did I give the therapy person the English language? Do they know everything about me? Are they trained to live and breathe in my shoes? No. Can they help me within the four corners of the situation? And the answer is absolutely yes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to train the AI. And that's why I build this training as this is the last prompt you're ever gonna need. Because this is something that can adapt and help you make money in a super simple way that nobody ever thought possible. Now, let's dive in and show you a rudimentary example of how this works so that you can kinda see what's going on. Now, let's say that I was going to go through and I was gonna say, well, you know, if I was gonna go to Google and look at the keyword GoDaddy appraisal, I could see that my site ranks number 23, and there are other sites, obviously 22 of them, that rank higher than me. Okay, now one of the good things that AI is good at, and don't worry, we are going to build on this. So if this seems very rudimentary and simple, Bear with me, follow along, we are building to a crescendo of being able to understand this in a way that you never thought possible. So when we look at this, this is a basic example. We have GoDaddy, GoDaddy, domain evaluation, niche pursuits, Quora, and on and on we go. So we can see that there are some things that are ranking above me. Now one of the things we can do with AI, if you wanna get traffic, is we can actually go to the sites, right? Like I go to this site, I right click, hit view source, I get the source code. Okay, the source code I download as a TXT file. Now, somewhere around a couple weeks ago, I think it was, was the fact um, they came out with, they came out with uh, the ability to upload a TXT file. Okay, so we're gonna use the TXT file here. Now, I could go in here and I can analyze two things. So I could say something like, and this is where we are gonna get into the prompting. Okay, this is super, super important follow along. What I'm gonna do is say, let's do an SEO traffic ranking workshop. I am going to send you two files. The niche, what is it, niche pursuits, pursuits one, yep, let's see, let's type it in here. Pursuits one ranks number three on Google, and the second one, affiliate marketing dude, ranks 23. Please analyze these and tell me what I can do based on the first page to increase my rankings, okay, super important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this and say, okay, let's do a, a workshop here, okay? So now it's got this, and all I did was go over here and right click and hit save as, all right? And we're gonna go through, and we're gonna give it these two files, okay? I have two files, one is me, and the other is called top. And I just did that so that I understand which is which, okay? So we're gonna upload these files when it's done with its little talk here, okay? And we upload these, all right, well, we'll drink some coffee while we wait here. There we go. Now we're gonna go through, and we're gonna upload the two files. Okay. Here you go. ME is mine, top is the one ranking better. Okay, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna analyze it and tell me what I could do to be better at SEO based on something that's working. So one of the things that a lot of people don't realize when it comes to AI and everything like that is we can actually use it and give it something that we know works. This is something I talk about all the time when it comes to making money online, and that is a constant. A constant is something that we know for a fact works. There are no questions. There are no maybe, perhaps. 
We see it on Google, it's ranking, therefore it works. Once we know this, we can give it to AI and use this in a way to get some very, very good input. Okay, now we're gonna take it a step further, don't worry. We're gonna go through, thank you for uh, compliments on the shirt. I was very happy that they had my size. Sometimes my size is very difficult to find. Um, but it's pretty good. It's a little bit long, but it is, it's a good shirt here. All right, so we're gonna go through and we're gonna take a look at this. And it says, okay, um, so my page, GoDaddy Appraisal Tool, Hidden Profit Secret, competing page, GoDaddy Domain Appraisal, and three alternatives to check domain value. Okay, interesting, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about the fact that their title matches the intent better than mine. Okay, Hidden Profit Secret, nobody cares about that. They do want the alternatives to check domain value. How many of you guys are like, oh, Okay, that makes sense, I, I get it. Um, initial observations, and also I don't have meta description, so that might help. Next we have title tag. The competing page has a descriptive title that not only mentions the appraisal, but hints at the content by mentioning three alternatives. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now we can see, okay, the competing page has meta description that further provides context about the page, whereas yours lacks meta. Let's dive deeper. Your page, GoDaddy appraisal, appraisal tool, comparison with tools. Limitations, strengths, there we go. Content depth is 3,800 words. Wow, mine's pretty long, that's a little bit big. Maybe I wasn't, but I think it was actually a transcript of a video. So then we could do everything you should know about GoDaddy domain appraisal, blah, 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 blah. And then we go through and it's still working on it. And it's gonna look at the keyword usage, the KD, uh, keyword density, and everything like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an output. Now remember friends, this is not just about SEO. Okay, what I'm showing you here is how to train the prompt within each session. So if we could train this within each session, we can get something out of it in that session that we can use on other stuff. This is super important. If you're starting to get this, smash that like button and type valuable in the box so that I know that I'm explaining this properly. I want to make sure that you get this because it might seem simple. It might seem like, oh, there's a bazillion prompts out there. It might seem X, Y, and Z. But what we need to do is we need to look at this in a different way. We need to start thinking about AI in a very, very different way when we go through. Okay, so it's analyzing it again. It had a little time out there, but it did do a good job here. Okay, and then what we are going to do is we're gonna ask it something even deeper. Now, while this is running, I wanna show you some other things that I went through and, and started working on. Now, uh, one of the things that I do all the time is I transcribe videos so that I can learn things fast. I don't have time to sit around and watch a thousand videos on the latest AI thing. I need them quick right at the drop of a hat so that I can come out with something that'll make money. Very important. So one of the things that I, I, I constantly do is I'm using rev.com to transcribe videos that I think are important. I'm putting those transcriptions into AI to get an output. This is super important. And when we look at this here, this is an example of one. Now, if you don't wanna pay a dollar a minute, $2 a minute to have it transcribed, there are places that you can get free AI generated transcripts and um, there, there's tons of them out there. So what I did in this example, and follow along, this is all gonna come together at the end. I'm gonna give you one, show you how it works, two, show you how it works, three, show you how it works, and then we're gonna close them up and show you how they work together. Super important. So here we have, I'm gonna send you two files. The first is a TXT video transcript. The other is output from an AI writer tool from that transcript. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually taking an AI tool that I pay money for. So this is a tool where, I mean, it's like 25 to 30 bucks to give it a YouTube URL it does the transcript and then it makes notes on the transcript. And what I found out is sometimes it does not get the point. It's like maybe 60, 40, 60% of the time it'll get it on an easy video, 40% of the time it does not get it. But if I wanted to save money and not pay 25 to 30, hint, what I just said is you could do something people are paying for. 
right? I'm going to teach you how to do this, which takes about 10 minutes at the most, and you can actually go out there and, and sell your service on Fiverr. It's actually very simple, or you could sell it uh, other places. But we know it's in demand because people are paying for it. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking several different points. I'm looking at, OK, here is the finished product that I know is the output I want. Here is where the output came from. Now tell me how we got from point A to point B. How many of you guys get that? If you guys get the value of that type correlation or something like that. Because what we're doing here is I'm saying, OK, here is the transcript. And then here is the notes. And I actually put the notes in HTML so that it can give me the titles and everything like that. And then it went through and it said, here's what's going on. Here's, it, it made me switch the file. It was like a Word doc and it needed like docx or something. So I switched it to, to HTML. And then what I did is I said, great, now take a look at this and show me what's going on. Okay, And what I did is I said, what would I need to prompt you to get this output from this thing? Right? How do I get this output, which people are paying 20 to $30 for, from this transcript? I'm going to give you a transcript. Tell me what to do. And then what it did is it said, generate a detailed transcript on the following. And let's, let's test it out. You guys want to see how this works in real time? What I'll do is I'll just go over to Rev. I will get uh, a download of the transcript. I think docx works, I believe. Yeah, plain text, text will work, OK? So we'll go like this, export, OK? And then that is going to give us the note file or the, the transcript file, OK? So now all I would need to do is say, um, let's paste our code. Oh, let's see, we want our code, what was it? this code here, copy code, all right? And then we'll go in, and it says generate the, the thing like this. And I'll say, when ready, tell me, and I'll load up the transcript. OK, very cool. Now, what we're looking at here, because I know there's a lot of tools that will go get a transcript. That's not what we want. All right, we need to get out of this mindset of let's just create the fastest, quickest junk with AI possible. Get that out of your thinking. That is not the way to make money. All right, that's not. Like, I, I've said it, and I'll say it again. The internet does not need more content. It does not need more content. What it needs and what we need is stuff that we know works. That's why I'm having it analyze the two SEO articles. One that ranks, one that ranks not as good. What we're going through, we're looking at the output of, hey, here is the end result from a video transcript, and here is the video transcript. What do I need to do to get to point A to point B? Very important. Once you get this, this is literally the one prompt that rules them all. So we'll go like this, put that in there, and then all we got to do is upload the transcript right like this. And let's see, is this one still going? OK, that one's done there. And we'll upload that. Did it upload? Got to do it again. There we go. Send. All right, so we'll wait for this here. And let's see how good we get from this, OK? Uh, Joseph says, Marcus, would you use Bing AI for this at all? Bing AI will probably time out. Now, Bing, we will use for smaller stuff, right? So we can go through and be like, oh, hey, analyze this page. Bring that into ChatGPT. Bing, I would use to create a prompt. So like I could go and say, hey, create a prompt based on this article, this video, this X, Y, Z. Then I would bring that over to ChatGPT for the heavy lifting. Um, ChatGPT with a paid version is going to give you a little bit more bandwidth than just using um, the Bing. They both run on the same thing. I think Bing is a little bit behind, but uh, they both run on, run on the same thing. So now what we're looking at here is it's going through and it's like, here's the guide. Here's the slug, the URL slug in the blog, meta description, introduction, 
rise of shorts and it's making notes and taking over this entire thing, which is very simple. Right now, what we have is a prompt where we can get a quick output based on something we're looking at. Now we can go through and take it even a step further and say, well, you know what, let's throw another one in the mix. Let's do how to create videos in minutes. Download, okay, and we'll do this here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to get a unique piece of content because we are choosing what we're giving it. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? We're choosing what we give it. Now, please do the same on this one. And we will put that one in there. This looks like this one's about pictory. And boom, here we go. And then we could take these and get the overview, put them together, and now what's happening Again, with the, the guy who argued with me about this, who said, you know, you can't really train it, but right now what I'm doing is what's, what's known as, I think it's known as, in-session training. We are training it within the session. So right now, AI is like, oh, I looked at video one, I looked at video two, I made some notes on one, I made some notes on two, now what do I do? Okay, is this sinking in? I think it's very important that you guys get this. Okay, so we're gonna have this one here. Now, while we're waiting for this, let's take a look at how the SEO stuff is here. And we're saying, okay, HTML tags, great, great, wonderful. Okay, now I could go through, and if I wanted to do this with a prompt, I could have it create a prompt. So I could say, please create a prompt I could give that would make an SEO optimized post for me with all the things included in the top article, okay? So this is gonna go through and it's going to make a prompt. Now, I can do this and I can use this prompt for something else, or I can use this and I can sell these prompts. All right, there's lots of things you can do. What I'm going to do is I am going to do more in-session training because this will work but what we want to do is we want it within this one topic, right? This one area where we're like, oh, hey, you learn this thing, this thing, and this thing, now put it together into an article. So if we use this with one thing, that's very, very, very important. African Flight Star says, uh, can ChatGPT keep the training that you taught it from one session to another? No as of right now, but when we dissect this here, the prompt, it kind of is. Does that make sense? Like, let's say you watch this entire training and you're like, okay, this is a great training. Marcus taught me some good things. You are not going to remember everything in this training, but you will remember, oh, hey, here's how to reverse engineer a prompt and to get in session data in a very simple way that is going to help me make some money. You will remember that. That's the important part, and once you have that, you can apply it to other things. Now, the cool thing about AI is AI doesn't need to have an epiphany. We do, right? So like aha moments that we get, AI, it's got them already. So we're looking at it in a different way because for us, what we have to do is we have to recall stuff. Like, oh, I remember Marcus said that. Oh, oh, what about that HTML tag? That's different, because what's happening is like, how many of you guys remember, uh, this, this will tell you guys how old I am, uh, how many of you guys remember microfiche, right? When I was going to school before computers came out, they would have these little disks that you'd put in the microfiche machine, and basically what it was is it would take all the data on all these papers and it would shrink them down into like this tiny little thing. Right, that way you didn't have to have a bunch of papers, you just had this little tiny thing. And so the microfish would have that little thing and you'd put it in the machine and it'd blow it up and you'd have the entire deal. That's how you're trying to recall info. Now AI has that, that microfish thing in it. It's like, oh, I understand this. Once I get it, it's a done deal, it's over, right? And so that's what we're doing here. In a sense, the prompt is the microfiche. Okay, type microfiche if you get it, if you know how to spell that. But when we look at that, we're like, okay, so this is the microfiche. Okay, now I could say, now please make it generic for any niche 
and title and keywords. What this can do, it's going to microfish it, okay? Uh, Wealth of Wisdom says you worked on microfish for eight years. All right, cool. Um, so that's basically what it is. Like data is the same in our brain as in computers. I'm sure one day they'll be like, oh, we found the spot where the input output writes in your brain. I'm not smart enough to figure that out, but I'm sure somebody will. So now we're looking at this and we're like, okay, now we have this microfish version of what we want. That's what a prompt is. Right, it's a basic information to say, boom, this is what we want based on something that already worked. And if you guys understand this, this will probably be one of the best trainings you've ever been on, and congratulations, it costs nothing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna understand, okay, now we have this, okay, and I could go through and take this little microfish thing here and say, let's write an article about the benefits of mindfulness, okay? So it's gonna go like this, it'll write the thing, and this is what most people do, this is where most people stop. They're like, oh, we'll just stop here, that's it. And so we're gonna go through and we're gonna take it a step further. The more you work with AI, the better response you're gonna get. I can't stand the videos out there that are like, let's just make 10,000 articles in a week with AI. It might make money, but we already know that Google is coming out swinging saying, we don't want spam. So then how do we go through and make something good? Because if we spend the time and make something very, very good, then we will reap the rewards, okay? This is very, very important. So we're looking at this and we're like, okay, here's our article, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it the uh, SEO info like this, so benefits of mindfulness, okay? And it's very important because when we realize that we could compare and contrast things that are already working, I mean, it's basically like in math, right? What happens here, is when it comes to trying to make money online, okay? Most people are going out there, and this is why on my videos it absolutely drives me nuts when people are like, hey, who tried that? Does it work? Well, lots of people tried it, and it does work. If you are looking for does internet marketing work, you're on the wrong channel. I'm not here to cater to people who still need to be convinced that the internet is a way to make money. If that's you, go watch some cartoons or something. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down in a practical, easy way. Because most people trying to make money online, and you tell me if this resonates with you, are looking at it like this. X plus Z plus Y equals W, okay? How many of you guys look at this and you're like, I don't even know what the heck that means, right? Type it in the box, let's see what you guys are saying about it. Most people are looking at this and they're like, hey, this is, this is the deal, right? X plus Z plus Y equals W, okay? Now, we know in math that you need some variables. Okay, with this, I, I can't do anything with that. I mean, I could put some made up stuff, but it ain't gonna get me anywhere. So what we need is we need some variables and constants of what works, right? So if I wanna get a ranking on Google, I can go listen to all the gurus, blah, 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 blah. But I'll never forget one day, someone said to me, hey, you wanna know what Google wants to rank? Why, why, do you, why don't you go look at what Google's already ranking? There's our constant. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, well, hey, here's this one thing that we know works. And if we can plus it with this other thing that we know gets traffic, and then we can fill in the other blanks. But if I know one or two of these, it's game over, I win. Right, does that make sense? Like how many of you guys are like, yeah, I wanna know the variables. I wanna know what these are. The gurus out there, they don't tell me what, oh, go find a drop shipping product. Okay, but, but how and what? Like, what am I just gonna get this cup? Am I gonna drop ship the cup? I mean, yeah, it's cheap on Alibaba, but am I gonna get traffic and are people gonna wanna buy it? This is very important stuff that we need to look at, and this is stuff that AI is going to help you with. I can't help it, sorry. There we go. All right, so we're gonna look at that. 
and we're going to say, okay, well, once we know these constants and these variables, now everything starts to change. So now I can go through and take this and say, great, now let's put our SEO prompt. Now please adapt the article to this SEO optimized prompt. Okay, how many of you guys are like, oh, okay, this totally makes sense. Now we're getting something that works. What if I analyze a product? Hey, here's this product on, on Amazon. Here's this other one. Why does this work and that doesn't work? Why does this one get ranked and this one doesn't? Why does this one sell and this one doesn't? And if we can understand that AI will help us with that, we are gonna get light years ahead of where we are right now. And now we're seeing, okay, now it's doing our introduction, our meta, our title, and it's basing it on stuff that already works. Now, is this going to guarantee us a top ranking? Probably not. Will it help if we have the right keyword? Yeah, I think, it, I think it'll help light years. And so when we're going through and we're like, okay, now I'm, I'm learning how to extract a prompt from two different things, right? I'm extracting the prompt to understand this. And when you get this, it will literally be unstoppable because the computer is telling you, hey, these are the things that I need to get you the stuff that you want. These are the things I need to get you the stuff that you want. So when we go through and we look at these video transcripts, okay? I can go through, and it looks like, uh, I think I need to regenerate it, it timed out on that one. But when I go through and look at this, it's like, okay, now take both of these, tell me why they worked, and give me an outline for a video script. Okay, how many of you guys are like, oh, okay, so I give it what works. Stop giving it just what you think, right? If you give it what you think, you're gonna get the results that you're getting right now because it's, you're basically just using AI to multiply the bad content that you're writing anyway. Right? Like if your content's bad and you're using AI, it's just gonna be more bad content. But if you do this in the right way and understand, then it'll start to work. So now we're looking at this and it's like, okay, now we're looking at the video transcripts. It's comparing them. And I could say, um, what do these have that made them work well? Right, very cool. So we'll go like this, it's gonna conclude. And we will do, great. And you always gotta be nice to AI. Great, now please share why these videos did well. Okay, gonna share why the videos did well. And we wait. I like this. And while we're waiting on that, we can take a look at how this will work. Now, I think I even went through, and I, I did this one here. So this is the intro. Yeah, that was the one that we used. Okay. And then this one's being super slow. That's good, though. We get to drink coffee. Maybe it needs some coffee. All right, there we go. So now it's telling us why, so relevance, tangible benefits, and we can see that, that, that it does have that, right? So now what I can do, oh wow, now it just like, I think it just had coffee the minute I said coffee, because it was like, boop, here's the rest of it. All right, so we're going through and we're like, okay, great. Now, please think more about this topic and share what you can add to it and maybe, come up with some helpful video prompts prompts to get the similar output okay now we're going through here okay there's the topics it's going to add ethical implications of ai good Comparative, future of AI and digital media. It's looking pretty good, okay? Prompts are okay. Yeah, I don't really like, I mean, it looks like it's giving me video ideas rather than prompts, okay? I could say something like, what would be a good prompt if I want a full video transcript like the ones above, okay? Cool, 
So we'll go like this. And we will utilize this in a very simple way. Prompt, craft a tutorial on the power of AI. Okay, so that's pretty good. Cool, so now I can take this. And this is an example of in-session training. So I trained it with the different transcripts. I got it to think different. I got it to make me the prompt. And now I can say, based on what we talked about in this thread, craft a comprehensive video. There we go. Okay, so here we have this. And it'll go through and it'll make a video on everything we talked about. Okay? And it's following the outline of the other videos. And what we're doing is we're using it to extract different things and understand different things. Very, very important. Now, when we use it for the SEO stuff, it is going to analyze and we'll do a test. We'll see if it actually helps me uh, do better with this. And I could say something like, now please rewrite the me version as a full article, okay? Or actually, we should probably say with this stuff, but I think it'll get it, okay? So we'll go like this. You see it? Act yeah, it did. So it did actually get what I was saying, okay? Now Lorraine says this is some next level stuff. Yes, and this is, we're actually gonna be having a all day training on this um, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be training my outsourcers on how to do this stuff. I'm gonna walk through it, it's gonna be like a six to eight hour training, it'll be recorded, and I'm just gonna go through and teach them how to do this for a content business that I'm creating. If you guys are interested in that, um, type something, let me know. We will get that link um, later on if you guys are on my list over at downloadmynotes.com. Uh, we'll send it out to you. Um, you can also reach out to my team to find out about that. But now we have like GoDaddy Domain Appraisal, unveiling the hidden profit secrets, discover, okay, you've got the meta, and it's going through and it's building all this stuff for me. So it's looking pretty good. It shortened it quite a bit uh, to match the other one. Uh, what are some other obvious differences between the two articles, okay? So we're gonna go like that. If you guys are interested in that training, um, yeah, just go to downloadmynotes.com, put your name and email in the box. Uh, we will email you when we get info on that. Now, it's gonna be an expensive training because you're gonna learn trade secrets that that's the only place to learn them. I need to teach my, my outsourcers. You're gonna get to be a fly on the wall as I do it. So it will be, it's, it's probably one of my most priciest one day webinars I've ever had, but I think it's very, very worthwhile. If you see the value in this and you're like, hey, you know what? Yeah, I could sell content for 50 bucks a piece. I think it would work really, really well for you. Um, and again, it's not for everyone. Results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Most people trying to make money watch trainings and do nothing. But if you are interested in that, uh, downloadmynotes.com will have some info for you. Okay, so here we have this here. Um, here are some direct comparisons. Top article, 68 paragraphs, me, 29. Links, me, 79. Um, 22 images, 25 images, and on and on we go. So we're seeing like, okay, these are very different. Um, tone and style, the top seems to take an informative and structured approach. Okay, so I like that. Now, again, when we do this, what you wanna do is you want to pay attention uh, to all this stuff. So if I open up a notepad here, I can start saying, okay, tone and style, good. I, I can even go through and say, awesome, thanks. Now make a prompt based on everything that gets me an output similar to the top one with very little input and adaptable for any niche, right? So this is gonna go through and it's gonna start doing it. And what we're doing is reversing the process where everyone's like, oh, I'm just gonna give AI what I think then, you know, like I don't, that's not the strong suit. Like if I go to a genius, I don't wanna go and tell him what I think, I wanna know what he thinks, 
right? Like most people, they spend all the time talking about themselves rather than listening and understanding, oh, hey, this is what this person has to say. Now, I admit I am one of the I, there's a tough lesson to learn. I used to love just hearing myself talk. Now I like hearing others. And, and when I go to marketing meetings and stuff, instead of talking myself up to feel good about myself, now I just sit there quietly and listen. And being a sober fellow who doesn't drink, that helps quite a bit because I could stay up and listen to everyone and, and take notes and not worry about foggy memory in the uh, morning. AI is the same way. We are taking all the info from the geniuses and the stuff that works and dissecting it. Now, what won't happen is when you're at a marketing meeting and you talk to someone, they are not going to give you a prompt that makes you get what they have. They're not going to do it. They don't even know it exists. Now what we're doing is we're getting it. So we look at this and we have the template here. So that's pretty good, right? And, and you can use this for everything. Now, when we do this, we also want to take a look at the video transcript stuff here where it's saying, okay, here we go. Now, what would be a good generic prompt to have you make a video on any topic following the rules of these transcripts and what works well? This will go through and it'll do this in a very simple way. And now we're like, okay, Here's a generic prompt. Craft a specific tutorial on topic of choice, topic of choice. There we go. Excellent. Then we could say, you know, now make it SEO friendly. Now write an SEO friendly article on these videos following this structure and then we'll go through and we will go and get the structure here put this in here where'd we go we were down here somewhere video transcript there we go i think i need to type it again now please write a article three thousand words or so following this guide map and what we talked about today with the video transcripts and why they work well. Okay, so let's see if it does it right. Might botch it, but let's see. Okay, digital content creation, comprehensive guide to AI-powered tr video transcripts. Meta description, dive deep into digital content creation, discover the intricacies. So this is looking pretty good. And again, we would need to do our keyword research and understand some other things, but what this is doing is it's taking a look at what works. Now, some other things we can do is we can actually go through to swipe file places. These are places where you can look at advertisements that did well. We can actually extract them and make it work. There's also different places um, that will have different email campaigns from things that work. Like this, I know, this was uh, from Frank Kern's four-day cash machine email series, which actually went through and sold like crazy. I remember I did this uh, years ago uh, after working with him on his Parrot site. I, I used the four-day cash machine and it worked really well. It was basically a discount set up for, um, for getting a discount, right? It was like, hey, I got this thing on sale and it had four emails or six emails or something like that that sold the thing, right? So I could actually go through and say, please analyze the following and find info on Frank Kern's four day cash machine email series. Okay, so I put that in there and it's gonna go ahead and do this. Now, we know this works. This is a variable of something that works. Okay, so it's gonna tell us why it worked. Once you understand this, you can go and do like um, a search for most profitable email campaigns in history. Okay, so now I can go through and say, okay, what are the most profitable 
email marketing campaigns in history. Here's 30 of them, here's 15. I can take these, I can have AI analyze it and get good stuff that I can use, right? And when we understand this, it's like, okay, now it's going through, it's talking about um, how it works. Great. Now, I want to sell a one day AI workshop that shares information on how I am using AI with my outsourcers to make tons of money. We will talk about prompt engineering. It will be recorded and it will have some trade secrets that will help people make money. The normal price is $9.97, but the sale price is $4.97. Please come up with some bonuses and make a four day email series like the four day cash machine, right? And what this will do is it'll actually make the emails for me. How many of you guys are like, oh, this makes sense, right? So there we have this. So there's our bonuses. It's looking pretty good. Let's see if it actually does the sales stuff. Uh-huh, so there we go. Why the discount? That's, that's pretty good. It's actually listening, right? How many of you guys are like, dude, wait a minute. Are you kidding? Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to just be limited to using this stuff on your own. You can go out and make an agency and all you need to do is know how to find the stuff that's going to work. Hey, what are the most popular email campaigns for limousine companies, for hosting companies? What about this, 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 and this? Analyze them. Again, analyze, don't copy. If you copy, that's a whole nother legal mess you don't want to deal with, but analyze it to get the data. Because as copywriters and people wanting to make money online, SEO, all this stuff, we need to understand that it comes down to basically I read a bunch of things, looked at stuff that works, came up with my own, and it worked. Okay, A lot of people don't have 23 years to figure that out, and that's why we're using AI. And you can use this as an agency to say, oh, hey, we analyze what works and we make stuff based on what works. This is what I'm doing right now in my content business. Right, We're going through in the content business and looking at what works. Okay, I know that this stuff works. I know the strategy works. It takes about... 20 minutes for me to come up with the concept and we're able to have outsourcers create content like that. It's super simple. And we could see here, it is actually doing the whole thing. It made all the emails for me, right? Pretty cool, and there we go. We just sign our name on them and make sure they're legit and everything, and now there we go. And we can see that they are really doing a good job of unlock the secrets. I would probably say exclusive workshop offer and soon. I'd probably change inside to end soon. Um, different things like that. AI outsourcing equals money, see how. Pretty good, three days left, last call. And we're seeing that it's like, oh, hey, this is pretty cool. Hey, now I'm getting an output that is based on something that I, I wouldn't know before, okay? And then we're going through and saying, okay, how do we make these prompts? Right, how do we do this? And this is one that I did um, that actually helped me prepare for this video. I went and took a bunch of AI prompt videos. I put the transcripts in there manually, as you can see. I had it break them down, and I went through and was like, okay, well, what are, what are the points these people are talking about that is helping with prompts? What, what are they, they giving you? Right, and sometimes you gotta, like this just gave me the prompt thing again, which I was like, okay, that's not what I wanted. So I asked it again, and now I can go through and say, okay, here is what it looks like. 
use cases, coaching, text generation, stuff like that, and I'm able to extract what I want from a bunch of different ideas and a bunch of thoughts in a very simple way, and then I go through and I'm like, oh, hey, here's what we're gonna do. Um, another thing that we want to look at here, I believe I had on this page, let's see here, is, um, so we went through examples, we went through comparison, uh, we taught AI how to learn, we taught it how to brainstorm, and now what we wanna do is correlations. Now correlations is very, very important because when it comes to correlations, what I can do is I can say, what types of sales would this correlate to? Or I could say something like, make a correlation, okay, and we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So here we have that. Correlates to initial spikes, plateau. Oh, it's actually showing how it works, which is kind of cool. Final surge. And this is actually very true, knowing having done this campaign a couple times myself. Um, hypothetical example. So what I could do is I can find correlations, right? I can go through and say, okay, here's the video transcript one. Okay, and I think this was talking about, yes, this is talking about AI videos. Now, please find some correlations between AI videos and perhaps some other social media marketing avenues. Okay, this is going to connect A and B for us, which is going to give you something that nobody else has. Right, because if I could go through and say, um, what is the historic price of gold and when does it fluctuate most? Right, like this. And this is something, um, if you did not watch yesterday's video, we went over this on yesterday's video. So now we're seeing the historic price of gold. and watch what happens next, okay? Again, all I'm doing, like, I'm not going to use this content. Like most people are gonna be, oh yay, content for my website. No, 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 that's not what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this so that AI knows the content, and apparently we need to regenerate it. There we go, we're doing too much AI today. Um, but this is gonna go through and we're using this so that the AI learns the content in a very simple way. Okay, so there we go, great, wonderful. And then we're gonna say something like, now, please find the correlation between investing in gold and real estate. Talk about when they do well, bad prices, inflation, ECT, okay? What this is gonna do, it's gonna find the correlation between two things that normally people wouldn't put together, okay? See how that works? Then what we're going to do is we are gonna use it for our initial idea, because what you're gonna wanna do is when you come to AI, we want to have something in mind. So we have a motive, okay? What is my motive? Well, my motive might be sell web hosting, okay? How do I sell web hosting? Well, I can get people to start a blog. Okay, so I can get people to start a blog. Maybe I could go through and talk about, okay, well, here's these people looking to invest in real estate and gold. Now please talk about what it would be like, or talk about the correlation investing in a blog business and what the returns could be like. 
Okay, see how this is taking it a step further and it's like, oh, now we're comparing things that normally people would never compare. And now we're going, okay, monetary investment, all you need to do is invest in hosting, ongoing expenses, content creation, blah, 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 blah. And now it's spinning it to what I want. Um, there's a political guy out there that I can't stand. But he does happen to be a genius when it comes to making words sell. His name is Frank Luntz. Frank Luntz. Now, Frank Luntz is a very interesting character. Not sure I agree with everything he says or even most of it. But I do agree with the fact that he can come up with things and spin them. Now, in the old days, uh, there was the father of modern spin, who was Edward Bernays. If you have not watched the documentary on Edward Bernays, watch it. I listen to the MP3 a couple times a year. It's a very good documentary about how political spinning came about. It's basically the study of propaganda. And with propaganda, what they were doing is they were taking ordinary concepts and putting them to other stuff. And I was talking to someone recently about this where things wouldn't be related, right? Like, oh, the problem with this group of people is that they go to Starbucks and that's why they're broke. No, that has nothing to do with it. It has to do with the fact that inflation is too high, wages are too low, X, Y, and Z, right? But they correlate those things in a way where it's like, I mean, they're sold on it. You can't argue with it. How many of you guys have had someone where you're like, I can't argue with that person because they are so set on this equals this that they won't look outside the box. Now, when it comes to marketing, Frank Luntz uh, does a really good job of taking what Eddie Bernays made and, and flipping it in a different way. Understanding that people need A plus B equals C. That's what they need. And if we have this motive of, hey, I wanna sell this blog thing or web hosting or I want to sell this product, how do I correlate it with something that someone will understand, right? Because you might not understand everything we talked about today, but you do understand X, Y, and Z, right? Very important. So what we're going to do is we are going to look at that and we're going to be like, okay, great. So now we correlated this gold investing, real estate investing, and blogging. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, African flights, I, I, I agree. I mean, there is no good political side in my opinion, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, and frankly, I think he probably works for both. Interesting stuff. But we're gonna take a look at that and say, okay, now how can I do this? Now, please find a comparison like this that people, that most people will understand, right? Because that's what people understand. They understand stories, they understand comparisons, they understand analogies. Very, very, very important. Exactly, he's the one who got global warming change to climate change. And that's the thing is it's like, you know, they can package ridiculous bills and things like that under the guise of, you know, helpful family initiative when it's like, no, that should be called give billionaires more money. It should not be called helpful family because it's not helpful for any family other than the ultra wealthy. And when we understand, wow, words make a difference. And if you're not good at those words, AI can compare those, right? We can go through and say, please compare the phrases Frank Luntz came up with politically that worked really well, right? And this will actually go through and it'll tell you about this stuff, right? Like the death tax. I mean, think about that. Really, what is it? It like made the tax and what it's for is billionaires. It doesn't touch anyone under like, I think, 50 million or something like that. Um, but they made it to where it's like, okay, now it does, and we're gonna rephrase it a different way. Climate change, takeover, um, tax relief instead of tax cuts. And looking at those words is what makes a big, big difference. So I could go through and say, okay, cool, thanks. Now analyze these phrases. Right, and it'll go through, yeah, let's see, 
think we might have timed out here. There we go. Um, cool, thanks. Now analyze these phrases. And notice how it's like, okay, it's talking to me. This is all one unit. It's not just, hey, here's a prompt, blah, 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 blah. No, analyze these phrases. Okay? Now it's going to analyze these. And we wait. Apparently it's analyzing. It says it's having a hard time with old Frank stuff here. Not to be concerned with the, confused with Frank Kern. Frank Kern's got some good stuff. Uh, Frank Luntz, not so much. I mean, his words are good, but there you go. Um, so here we have this to make it less alarming. Yeah, that is less alarming. Climate change. Oh, it's just change. I mean, we have climate change four times a year. Unless you live here in Florida, then it's like once a year. But that's the deal, right? You're changing the perception of what people think and how they think. And this is super important because now I can say, now please make some phrases for why blogging is a better investment than gold or real estate. Okay? And let's see how it does. Digital gold mine. Unlike physical gold, a blog's value grows with content and audience engagement. That's okay. Infinite real Oh, that's good. Infinite real estate. What if you could own infinite real estate without ever having a down payment, with only one down payment? Right? How many of you guys are like, oh, I get it. This is, this is making sense. Passive profit streams, liquidity on demand. That's good. Yeah, because real estate, you got to sell it to get the liquidity. Um, global audience, recession resistant revenue. That's kind of cool, growth without boundaries. I mean, these are pretty good. And now we're looking at it and it's like, oh, okay, cool. Now, based on what we learned, write a blog post slash sales letter, getting people to get hosting for their first blog, which is only, which is less than, instead of $90 a year, let's do this. This is, this is the way you gotta think. So we'll do 90 over 365. Okay, so 24, less than a quarter a day. Right, who doesn't have a quarter a day? I mean, come on. Less than 25 cents per day. And how it could be the best decision Ever. Boom. Right? How many of you guys are like, oh, okay, now I'm seeing how this works. And here we go. Let's see digital gold mine blogging and the best part, you can dive into this opportunity for less than the price of a candy bar. There we go. Infinite real I mean, this is I don't know, I might buy the damn thing. Right? How many of you guys are like, that's pretty good. I mean it's it's doing good. Here you got the bullet points. I mean this is like reminding me of uh, you know, like Dan Kennedy or Gary Halbert type hard hitting stuff for less than eight, uh, 25 cents a day, 24 seven support. I mean, this is doing a really good job. I could even take it a step further and say, now adapt it to this hosting company that I am an affiliate of, right? How many of you guys are like, whoa, wait a minute. And there you go, right? Very, very simple. Uh, let's see, uh, ads running during streams, you can't help that. What are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, this is a very, very simple way and now I can be like, okay, here's a prompt. So I think we need to get away from a prompt as dictating what I want AI to do and more about, hey, I'm gonna share and we're gonna get this info together. Stop telling AI what you want it to do and start collaborating with it. Like, do you not get the fact that you have a genius with unlimited knowledge potential and the ability to learn like that? And you're asking it to write a lousy blog post? Like, get out of here, all right? Let's get it to write good content. Let's think about stuff in a different way. If I was to write about Frank Luntz here, okay, great. Now, please create an article on 
how we can use his tactics to sell more product online through blogs, websites, and videos. Okay? Watch what I just did. Pay close attention. Now we're going to go, and we're going to go Keyword Explorer, and we're going to do Frank Luntz. Now I could tackle the 18,000 people a month that are searching for him. And it's medium, his competition's pretty low. How many of you guys are like, wait a minute? Exactly, Mark says, it's chat GPT, not one question GPT. We need to get out of the idea that it's just going to give us whatever we want. It's not. We need to think. Have a good time with it. Learn how to talk to it. I mean, it's doing okay. We'll have to regenerate it, though. But now it's like, hey, using Frank Luntz message tactics to boost online sales. Here we got this, right? Emotionally charged language. I mean, this is... I mean, how many of you guys, if I sent this out in a PDF, you'd be like, dude, Marcus, you gave me some good content. That's pretty cool. That's content that I can learn from and I can get some good value out of. All right, how many of you guys are having like an aha moment times a billion? Okay, now it's like, okay, make it easy for this, blah, blah, blah. And now I can, I can even microfish this down and say, okay, now apply these lessons from Luntz to the blog post. Now apply this, now apply that. And we're like, oh, okay, we're utilizing this. And AI isn't usually gonna think about this. Like if I said, give me some sales tactics, it's probably not gonna think about it. I can even go through and say, great, now get me some, or actually, you know what, let's take this, I'm gonna make a note of that. Great, uh, okay. I'm gonna make a note of that and we're gonna get back to it. Now, who are some other good people, not good people, I don't know if he's people, <laughs> don't wanna give him props where he doesn't deserve it, I didn't know there. That was a joke, sit down, calm down. People um, that teach persuasion and sales like this, okay? Now we're gonna get these. Uh, De Silva, Marcus, how much would you sell a turnkey startup blog for with no traffic or ad revenue to a realtor or any other entrepreneur domain included? Uh, check out highticketniches.com. We actually have a service that does that. It does extremely well. Um, again, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Most people do nothing, but we are seeing that a lot of them are getting rankings and doing well. So now we have lots of salespeople here, and we can do a comparison on them. And I can actually create a really good off, uh, a good piece of content on this um, and pick out the ones I want. Now, please find and analyze some of uh, Jordan Belfort's sales phrases, okay? And again, we're not commenting on these people. I don't know how Jordan Belfort is as a person, but his sales stuff, some of it, like uh, the wording I've used, it's, it's, the guy does know how to sell. I'll give him that, right? Um, so we'll go like this, and it'll get that, and then it'll analyze why his worked, why the other guys worked, how we can use it and put it all together. Okay. How about his, the actual phrases he uses in sales? Okay, now watch this. Okay, we're gonna show you something very, very important here. After it's done. Okay, this will blow your mind in just a second. Okay, that's what's funny is like a lot of people love Jordan Belfort sales stuff, and I'll admit some of it's good, but it was built on the back of selling something that was a lie, which like you don't have to be a good salesman if you're gonna lie to people that one penny's gonna turn into a billion. Like, I don't know. If you have trouble selling that, 
which you shouldn't be selling that because that is wrong. But if you have trouble selling that, then maybe you should rethink the whole sales thing. Uh, how about some actual phrases he uses in sales? Now watch how we, we go even more um, into this. And again, I don't know these people personally. They might be fantastic people. We're just using their sales stuff, okay? Uh, what's more important to you, X or Y? Completely understand how you feel. Yeah, these are actually really good. And I did test a couple of phrases years ago, and I think it did boost sales. It was back when I was drinking, so I wasn't really paying attention to A-B testing back then. It was more like, you know, a beer testing. But uh, I am, I'll, man, I'm coming on 10 years sober. There we go. About, uh, what do we got? Six months to go, something like that. All right, so now we have these. And now what I can do is microfish this. All right, that's our term. We're going to be microfishing. We're going to take the old and use it with the new. So we'll go like this. I'm going to put this into a notepad. And by the way, the new notepad kicks butt. It saves everything. It's great. So we're going to go like this. Then I'm going to go back to my, um, what was it, the email one. Email. There we go. Now I am going to give you some information. Please go over it and we will rewrite these emails in light of the new information. Boom. There we go. Here's our information over here. Uh, where'd it go? Okay, got to have sound effects, makes life so much better. So now it's going to look at that information, which is this entire chat log. There we go. Yes, Ricky says he can't copy and paste that much on ChatGPT. That's why we're using TXT files, because it will ask you to split it up. Now, using a TXT, I could give the thing the whole encyclopedia, and it'll take a look at it. Okay, so now it's going to summarize. All right, like this. How many of you guys are digging this? Type microfish it if you guys are dealing, if you guys are digging this. I think it's important stuff if you start to understand exactly uh, how this works. Okay, so now, uh, yes, so we're gonna proceed. Yes, please. Smiley face. There we go, gotta be happy, you know? All right, so now it's gonna do this into the email series. It's actually doing a pretty good job of these. I promise you this, this walk away trade. That's actually, it's gotten way more powerful. Do you guys see that? Uh, Jalen, is this a solid strategy? Have you seen results from this? Have I seen results from trying to sell stuff online? Yeah, I have. Um, have I used AI to create stuff that makes tons of money? Yes, I have. Um, a lot of people have. So now we're looking at this and we're like, okay, this is doing a, a really good job. There's our urgency one. Yeah, this is actually doing really good. We can even try this out. I don't know, maybe I'll try this email series out for the call. But you'll never see it if you don't go to downloadmynotes.com and put your name and email in the box. But now we're seeing, okay, uh, committing to something can be daunting. Most of my success is actually looking pretty good. Obviously, you would want to comb over it, make sure everything is um, up to par, right? We wouldn't want to, you know, have anything that's not true or exaggerates or anything like that. Right, that's why here on the channel we always say the average results, the average person makes nothing. Um, but when we understand how this works, we're starting to see, oh, this isn't just about getting a bunch of prompts. This is about creating our own stuff based on custom things we're going to use, microfishing it or shrinking it down into one prompt and using that within the other stuff that we're doing. And I mean, we're here, it's, we're an hour and 15 minutes into this training and we're, we've, we've created maybe like four or five different pieces of content. So I think with some work and some ingenuity, 
spending 30 minutes talking to AI and giving it that stuff, I think it's going to be very very good. I think it's going to help us get where we want to go and understand what's happening and really looking at like, oh, hey, I could give AI the thing that's working and the thing that's not and say, what do I need to do to make this work? What do I need to do to make this better? How do I create something that's actually going to work? And I think that's super important. And if you guys are um, interested in learning more about that, check out downloadmynotes.com. I'll have notes from this video as well as the replay. And later today, I'll put a link up if you want to join the Saturday training. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be, and it's not cheap. So if you guys are interested, downloadmynotes.com, and we'll send you um, the information on that if you want to join it. And there's also lots of other good stuff that's free at downloadmynotes.com as well. So. Have fun with this, create prompts based on actual data rather than just trying to get a prompt to get some generic output. Actually put some work into this, put some work into using the AI and I think you're gonna get a much better output. Uh, we have done this in my content business thousands of times over the last month and a half and we've learned a lot about, oh wow, it has to do with like sitting with the AI and, and, and making something that's really, really going to work. And it's very, very, very important. So, awesome stuff. Um, De Silva, if you want to reach us, go to one of our websites. We have contact info on the websites. Uh, we encourage you to go through the support tickets or live chat. That way it's easier. Email's really hard to keep track of, so we don't use that. But very, very important, very good stuff. Use this, go forth, and make money with the one prompt that rules them all.